Okay, we're going to have a look at creating a website that is um, hosted through GitHub. What you would use um, this sort of site for is a promotional aspect of your project. So if you're working on a project that you're sharing with other people want to download or you want to show what it looks like or give documentation, you can create a separate branch and that will work as a sort of forward fronting website that functions like an ordinary website rather than a list of files. Now we're going to have a look at how we would do that from a project. There are a number of ways you can do it. You make static blogs and different ways of doing this. This is just one of the ways you can create a, um, a website on GitHub. So what we'll do, we're going to use um, GitHub Desktop. We're also going to have a HTML5 project with some style sheets and images. And we're going to have already signed up for a GitHub account, which is free. And these are the free ones are actually um, open to the public. So that's something you've got to bear in mind. Now, what we will do is we'll just go to um, the GitHub page that's been set up. You would go to your profile once you've logged in there. You would have um, your repositories here and what we need to do is create a new repository so I here with the repository I click on new and I will say uh, site test and that's the name of my uh, repository um, and I'll say testing in the description um, github pages and that's what I'll call it. it's going to be public because that's the account I've got I could put a readme on there but the um, files and assets I'm uploading there is a readme file associated with that in any case but if not you would initialize it and then I will create this repository once I've got that it gives me some information of how to set it up it's empty at the moment now I've set that up remotely on github and now I need to go back to my computer and set up um, a folder with some documents in it and then push it up to this online repository here. Okay, I've back in the Git desktop on my computer and I need to now um, pull down that repository that I've just created and then load up some files and push those. If I come up here to the plus sign on the top left in the GitHub desktop, I've got add, that will be adding a folder I've already got. I can create a fresh one. They all save them in a folder in your home directory called GitHub, or I can clone. Now, hopefully it should have connected to um, my repository and know all the ones that are listed. So all the repos that are up online. Now my one is called site test and lo and behold it appears here as site test so I click the and I clone site test it will prompt me to save it in the github folder in my home directory and I click clone it will work its way through it and once it's done that it's got it here now it's pretty much empty so it knows there's nothing to commit but what I will do now is I will save um, some um, files in here so I open it up and once I've done that I'm going to download a some files to just get going this might be useful to you so you'd be creating your own but I go here and this site is called start bootstrap it's just bootstrap themes that are free and there's one here and there's a number of them you can download and use again always important that you make your own sites rather than doing something like this this is just to show you to how quickly you can get up and running so I downloaded that unzipped it and now I'm going to put that into this empty repo that is on my computer so I open up the file I downloaded and I drag and drop and what we've got in there is a number of files so the CSS image files HTML document and a readme file which um, will be picked up by github when we upload now back in um, git desktop it's realized there's 64 files that have been um, copied in there and they haven't been committed so you know it hasn't um, it's not watching all those that are in there so I need to commit it so I'll just say added um, site and then I click commit to master it will commit them all and now it says there's no commits and here it is that's my first commit here 
all my files are down here. Um, you can see them all, all the way down. Here's the index in green. That's what's just been changed. So we haven't updated anything. Now we'll publish. So what we can do is click on publish and that will push all these 64 files up to GitHub. Now, if I go back to my GitHub page, I'll just refresh. You'll see this will spring to life and we'll have all the files listed. This is the readme file that was associated with that theme and there it is displayed down here. So this is quite a usual thing you would see um, in GitHub for a project that's been put into a repository. Okay, now what I will need to do is create a new branch and that is going to be my website. So say for example, you've made all your files, you finish your project and you're gonna have a forward fronting site or you know, you're just gonna pick something to make a site with. So I want to make a site of this. So if I go back to Git desktop and I need to make a new branch and turn that into a site. So I come down here, I click plus and I'm going to create a new site from the master. Now I'm gonna call this gh-pages and that's important you name it that because um, it'll be recognized. And I click and that will just make a carbon copy of the, the, the master branch or, or what I've just had. So that's um, placed it on here and I can click view branch. And if I go over here and click on the commit, here are all my files that I've just added in that branch. So I've got two branches. One is the master and one is the um, now the GH dash pages. Now with that as the default current branch there, I will then come up here and publish and that will push that up to my GitHub. If I go back to GitHub um, and I refresh, you'll see now I've got two branches, right? So if I click on here, I've got two branches, I've got my master branch, which is the default, and now it's got your branches. So it's got the pages, GH pages, and then it says that's the active one. Now, if I go to settings and I go down, you'll see here in green, it's added and published a site. It's picked that up because we named it GH dash pages and it's put it in my username dot github and then the name of the uh, repo now if I open that up there's my site and you'll see up here it's got my username then it's got github io and if I bring this in I've got a site so I can bring it in and out and there you go that's a functioning site now I can make some changes now if I go back to my github um, desktop app I click and find the HTML document and I'm going to change this. So I need to open this up in a um, text editor. Um, there's many ways um, you can open things up and work with it. You can use Atom, which um, is a GitHub app, or I'm going to just use um, brackets, but any sort of text editor to open it up. And I'm going to edit the HTML document. So I come down here and I will now open that up in brackets come up okay so we got that so all I'm going to do is change the title up here and I'll say my first uh, git uh, hub site I've got that I'll just copy that and probably put it down somewhere else and when I go down here on the uh, title bar, if I go back to uh, the site to let you know where I'm going to put these elements, I'm going to change this here and I'm going to change the bootstrap and then I'm going to change the tagline. So I'll go back here and I've got to find those those elements. One of them's on the tag bar, so uh, nav bar, sorry. So I just come along and where it's got this and I will say uh, G h pages uh, test and then i'll come down here a little bit further and this is where i changed this as well place that in and then i'll just do the strap line uh, wow uh, this is cool now once i've done that i can now save it 
And if we go back to my GitHub desktop up here, you'll see there's one uncommitted chain. So I click on that. I've, it shows me all the things that's changed. What's in green is a new change and what's the old one is what it used to be. So this is really good where you can compare in two different versions. Now I'll just say added titles. And once I've done that, I will click commit to GH pages because that's our current branch. Once I've done that, I will sync. It will sync it up to the GitHub. And when I go back to GitHub, I go over here. Um, or I'll just go straight here and refresh the page. And you see it's got GA pages test. It's got my first GitHub. Wow, this is cool. So that's a quick way you can just update the site content. You can do the same principle of changing the images and just doing another commit and pushing it up. Now, there's a number of ways you can do Git pages on GitHub. That's just one way of quickly doing it. Um, there are other ways, but it's quite a cool way to just get up and running in adding pages, even if you just want to use it as a quick site and you're not, it's not promoting a project. Okay, we'll just wrap up with um, how we would delete um, the GitHub page and then how we would then go one step further and delete the repository. Now it exists on a branch. So here we are in the GitHub desktop on the computer. And if we got branches, if we go up to branch, it says delete um, GH pages or you can rename them on the branch uh, menu. If we now go to delete GH pages and click on that, it'll delete that. Um, now, if we just press sync, and that will sync that delete with the GitHub. And if we just see if that's worked, we go here, we go to GitHub. I'll just come out of that. Give us that test. And you'll see here, we only have one branch now. So that is actually gone. And then if we click on settings, you will see where it's got the GitHub pages. That has disappeared, right? Okay, so say for example, uh, we just really wanted to get rid of this now. We want to get rid of this whole repo. If you want to get rid of the repo we just created, you go into settings on the repo and you come down and you say delete. It wants you to say, you know, what's the name of it to make sure you're not deleting it accidentally. And if I just type in site uh, test, what that does, um, it just makes sure that you're not deleting something um, that you want to keep or you're doing it accidentally. And I click that once it gives you the warning and it comes up and then it will be gone. So, so that site has now um, been deleted from the GitHub. So it's not in here or in my list. Now, if I go back to um, the computer with the um, information here for my site i can actually then uh, delete this site so i can come down here and you can remove from github also here um, but what we're going to do is just click remove and remove it if i now go to my home directory i go github and i've got site test it's still all there and if i just wanted to get rid of that i could then just literally throw it in the bin and delete it now, sometimes if you don't get these things in the right order, sometimes they leave like residues of files and you can have some uh, corruption. And when you try to open GitHub uh, desktop, it's trying to find files that are not there or in a semi state of deletion. OK, so I've got rid of that. And that's how you then would delete your page or get rid of the page and then go one step forward and get rid of that whole repository. But you would do that with any repository deletion. You either do it through here, the desktop, and get it to do it remotely. Or you can actually just go up and um, delete it through settings on GitHub.